Hello and welcome back to Punisher's Paintball guys. This has been a requested video. I know you guys have been really interested to see what's in my gear bag, in Joel's gear bag. I'll try to link to that if that one goes up first. But uh, we're always happy to show you guys what we're using for the season as we go into it. So this is my 2023 season gear bag haul video, if you will. It will be very similar, if not near identical, to my last one, but with a few subtle changes. So without too much further ado, we're gonna get into it right after the intro, but I need you guys to use the link in the description to make sure that if you wanna get any of the things you see in this video, you're getting them from Punisher's Paintball. Be right back. I'm so free. Alright, so let's get right into it. So this is the Virtue High Roller Gear Bag. This is, I think, the V2 or V3. Not There is a more current version that is out, so definitely make sure to check that out. But guys, this is a solid choice of gear bag. I have not had issues with fitting stuff in it, with having pockets to organize things, because really the biggest competitor, in my opinion, to this gear bag is the GX2 from Planet Eclipse. I've used that before as well. I borrowed one from the shop in World Cup 2020. I love that thing. It's a big open bucket. You can just throw stuff in it and it holds everything. It's got really tall sidewalls, which makes you think, you know, you can really stuff some stuff in there, but it's kind of narrow. So for me, I like that this is wider. It has more of a very open square, like main cavity here. And also you can divide your stuff out so much better. I believe in the Virtue High Roller Gear Bag because there's just on the top of this pocket, which zips right here. And when I went to cup, this is where I stored um, some things that kind of needed to be kept dry and away from other things. And mainly, the big thing was my Bluetooth speaker, which I didn't remember to put in here before we came uh, today, but um, Bluetooth speaker that fits right up here, and it's awesome to have that in the pit, help you guys vibe out for a game. Then you have this middle pocket, which is big on like weatherproofing. It's got this kind of like, almost kind of, not meshy, not trash bag, but like this like very everything proof kind of material. That is for me where I choose to keep my batteries to keep them out of the weather. I also keep wrenches in there as well. You'll see on the side here as well, there is a big old zipper. There is one on the other side too. This goes, I mean, pretty far in. This, I'm not really sure what I would put in there, like maybe like socks or if you have like paper cutouts of the layout, that could be one spot that they go because it's also pretty weather protected in there. Uh, maybe your keys or your phone. I, I, the, the possibilities are truly endless. It's build your own adventure. But um, keeping with the external, pockets for now. So there's those two, the side ones. Let's go over here. This is the mask compartment right here that I'll get into in a bit. Um, and then beneath that, there's, you see, there's a second zipper. That is where it's, it, that's the true like weather storage spot. And similar to the HK expand roller gear bag, that'll expand into the bag more or less as much as you want it to. Um, so it just depends on what you want to put in there. For me, that is almost exclusively for my cleats. If it's before the day of play, and you know, I'm going into it and my cleats are dry, whatever, um, I actually typically wear my, my lower half of my gear to the field, I'll drive in it, like my slide, my slide shorts, my um, knee pads, my pants, my cleats, I just wear those and drive in them, because that's the part I hate taking off and putting on the most. Rather just do it when I get out of bed, be dressed, go to the field that way, and then just, I'll use the weather pocket here to store like my shoes for after I'm done playing, maybe my shorts or like a hoodie or something, and then the rest of it will go over here. But <clears throat> for the most part, shoes are the big one for me that goes in the weather pocket. Uh, but yeah, otherwise guys, uh, external features, you do have a soft carry handle here, which has held up nicely for me over the last three years. You have a hard carry handle on the back here, because this does have a hard undershell to keep it protected while you're rolling around, and if you're abusive like me, literally throwing your bag out of the back of a truck. And then there is also the extendable carry handle for airport and for longer travel. I've also been known to kind of like sling my gun like in between this and use it as like a holding thing. But I figured out that I should stop doing that when I kept uh, making my like frame screws come loose. So the better alternative to that is to use this nice little strap that's here on this bag. So it just unbuckles and then you can put it kind of between the trigger guard and the foregrip of your gun and like over the top where the hopper goes and just clip it and it'll stay right on the back. Additionally, I'm gonna have to zip this real quick so I can show you this other feature, this external feature, because I refuse to forget. <clears throat> Sometimes you go to events and it's really muddy and you don't want to really drag your bag through all that. So to avoid that, this compartment here, here am I centered? Am I in there enough? I think we're okay. okay. You unzip this, it has, okay, they're a little tight. Can't get them out, gotta unzip the whole thing. You guys are lucky I like you. So, has backpack straps. So you can just pick it up and wear it. You don't have to drag your stuff through the mud or none of that nonsense, which is awesome. I've done it actually a few times. It's been a minute since I've had to because we've had some pretty dry events, luckily. Um, MSXL Louisville was dry, but an absolute wind tunnel, right, Simon? That was, mm -hmm. that was some shit. Anyway, so there's other external pockets for the Virtue. I think this is the V2 high roller gear bag. Um, not too much different for the new one, if I'm <clears throat> not mistaken, but I'm going to get into 
some of the pockets here. I'm gonna keep you guys waiting on the main pocket. I'll start with this one. So, here in action at first, I'll even go a layer under. You're gonna see my disgusting cleats. These are old uh, Adidas Predators that desperately need to be replaced. These are, <laughs> these are filthy. Oh, oh, and I have my flip flops in here as well, just in case I wanted to put on, you know, those after I was done. But anyway, take these out for a second. It's important to have footwear. Let's see if I can pull them out of So this is that kind of weathered material. It's just a bag and it just keeps everything, all the nasty, wet, gross from here to getting into the rest of your stuff. It just keeps them separated, as the offspring like to say. So I'll put these back in here, because that's gnar. That's super gnar. Close the shut. Pull this back over. Can you smell that from behind the camera? No, thank I'm, God. I'm glad for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty rank. All right, then we're going to get into a very attractive piece, my mask. So I am a huge fan of the Virtue Contour 2, Virtue Vio Contour 2. This is game worn. I really like this kind of black smoke design that they have. It's pretty simple. I can, most of my stuff is pretty simple, very just black on black. But my pop of color is this bluish green lens. Looks super sick. I, I think it's it's got a pretty it's it's a good mix of intimidating, but also like looking cool. And as the mask's name implies, it is very nicely contoured, and I do enjoy it. Fits my face well. I feel like my voice gets out of it very well. I feel like I can breathe. Also have good ear protection. I got drilled in the ear. I got bunkered right, like someone headhunted for me at the MSXL. It wasn't pleasant, but I feel like I had enough protection here that I was fine. I walked off like nothing happened. <clears throat> Simon said it looked like it hurt, but like it wasn't actually that bad. But let's get into some fun stuff here. So gloves wise, I am someone who doesn't really buy paintball gloves anymore. I buy Gorilla Grip gloves. You can find these on Amazon. They're not very expensive and you can get a pack of multiple of them which is really nice because you have them for a bit and it's not expensive to replace them. Um, <clears throat> headwear wise, because paintball is a fashion show, I have so many headbands. These are just the ones that happen to be in my bag. I have so many headbands. One is a Charm City Gucci, which I love. I'm a huge fan of Charm City. They do really good work and I will always wear their stuff. The headbands are pretty long. <clears throat> so just, you're gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get over onto your shoulders a little bit, your pigtails, but I think it looks cool. So it doesn't matter. This is one of our proprietary Punisher's PB denim headbands. I honestly, <clears throat> there is some, how do I say, some lore to headwear. Like some people feel like they have better luck when they wear certain headbands. For me, I tend to have really good games when I wear this. So just saying, I'm not, and I'm, I'm really, I'm not just plugging Punishers or making that up because we can't even give you those anymore. We've, we've sold them all, but like I play really well when I wear that. But finally, Another piece that is in, the final piece that's in the mask section of my bag does also relate to the mask in a couple ways. So you'll see this bag might look familiar. It is a squirrel sack that we now are <clears throat> the, the owners of and we retail them out of the store here. First of all, super sweet for cleaning off any oily paint <clears throat> or if you break like a ball or two in your bag or something or maybe in your loader, rather than scrapping the whole batch of paint, you unzip this, toss that paint in here. Sorry, it opens up. Toss that paint in here, zip it shut, flatten it, I'll show you why there's a thing in there, but flatten it and roll through it a couple minutes. Voila, your paint is just fine. It'll shoot completely straight. We've used them here at the store. I personally love them, but the reason I have this is kind of dual fold. Not only do I use it for that purpose if ever I need to, but more often than not, it really just serves as a carrying safe place for my clear lens because you do want to have a clear lens on hand because you never know when the weather's going to turn to crap. <clears throat> I'm not somebody who can play with a clear lens all the time. My eyes are very light and they're very sensitive to the sun, so preferably have a mirror or tinted lens <clears throat> most of the time when I'm playing. Um, I will only put this in if it's absolutely necessary because um, I will die on the hill that clear lenses have no ag, none, but you guys can fight with me on that one in the comments. I hate clear lenses. However, a necessity nonetheless. So I'm gonna put this away. I'm gonna also give you an opportunity to comment what gear bag do you actually like to use or have you had experience with? I've always been curious how people feel about those push bags. I would love to do a review of one of those because those seem really big and really nice. That was, that was a contender for <clears throat> when I was looking into gear bags. But something about the Virtue one really just spoke to me. Also, fun little side note that I'd like to point out. There is Velcro on the outside of this as well. I have a patch from our buddy Greg at How to Play Paintball. Uh, you, you guys have known, he's worked with us forever. We love hanging out with him when we go to events and get to see him around. He's such a good guy. I believe he's playing for some semi-pro team now, shoot and die. He seems like he's been having a lot of fun. So <clears throat> go check out How to Play Paintball. He's a good friend of ours. Greg Montalvo. All right, so now this monstrosity this that we're going to unpack it's an organized chaos i'm a very actually pretty neat organized person i try to get a little top down shot for you guys in here of 
what the inside of this is going to look like, and then I'll pull stuff out as we go. So I'm going to try to <clears throat> back this up a little. You'll see you have three sectioned off pockets here. You have one totally weathered. Also, by the way, I forgot to point out, inside of here, super, super soft and felt stuff for your mask. So if you don't still have this case, you'd be fine. But anyway, um, super, so like this is super, super weather driven. So you could really, like if you have documents or if you have like your phone, you stick this one probably in here if you know it's going to be bad weather. This one also pretty weatherproof, but it's clear. So you know it's in there. So for me, I've ha I have like some, some old entry bands. I have um, my Shocker sponsorship card old player cards, a couple of those. I think I have a little baggie with like some parts that I wanted to specifically keep here to not lose. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the mesh pocket. For some reason, that's just the one I use for my stuff. And as you can see, an essential to always have for when you're in downtime at the paintball field is some sunglasses, preferably aviators. And these have also been beat because they're all kinds of bent up, but it's fine. They still fit my face just fine. It's whatever. Really, I mostly keep these around because I have a knack for getting shot in the face when I'm not on the field. I'll have to dig up the picture and put it on the screen for you guys, but that has happened more times than I care to admit. So keep some sunglasses on you for when you're at the field because nothing is safe. Um, <clears throat> but now getting into the piece de la resistance, all the main stuff that I actually use. I finally switched up my pod pack. I got off of the whole five, uh, you know, five plus pack. I, I just, I've been watching so much, so many of the pros, even dudes that, that do play more of a two, like I traditionally play more of a two nowadays and I'm kind of pushing 30. Like, even they will still have a four across the back because it just sits more slender. There's less, there's less of a chance you'll get hit on the side. It just feels less bulky. It feels like it stays with me more as I'm trying to run or if I have to go fill and go dive or something. It just feels like my paint is staying with me more. So this is the JT pack. Um, we have a whole pack review video, guys. This was actually one of the more popular ones that you guys seem to like when I was looking over our analytics, which I understand why. It holds onto your pods very snug. These extra slots here as well, it's taken me a while to kind of wear them in. And even still, I feel like I can't, like I gotta really yank them out because they are in there very securely. I'm a fan of packs with straps personally, and th this Velcro is the perfect mix for me of, doesn't let my pod go anywhere, I don't lose them on the run, but it's easy enough for me to just quick sh pull it out, dump a pod, all good. So for me, this JT pack is where it's at. <clears throat> I have to find some room on the table for all my stuff. A huge thing that you need in paintball is rags. And I really suggest parsing out your rags between hit rags, this is literally an old dish towel, versus like microfibers to actually clean. Like you'll hear a lot of teams in the pit say, oh, like, can I get a clean micro? That micro has been used, but it's been used only for fine details of cleaning up your lens. Like if you get shot in the mask, use this to take all the paint and all the shell off and give it a couple wipes, then do the fine details with this so you can actually see clearly through your lens again. So really wanna separate out a lot of the different rags and towels that you use. Next. This is probably going to get upgraded here in the next maybe year or two. I'm honestly just trying to see how long it takes for this thing to die, uh, but it hasn't had problems yet. This is a Virtue Spire 3 verified with my sticker that's still hanging on on this side. So you'll notice the shell of this is nearly identical to the most recent Spire 5 and the, uh, uh, the Spire 4 that was in between them. Same speed feed, Crown SF speed feed. Out of all the speed feeds that are available, I just really... This one just seems the most right to me. I think it just kind of sits the most flush with the loader. I like it's open enough for me, but not so closed that I can't just peek in real quick and see if, you know, if I'm, you know, out of paint or whatever. So I just, for me, this has been a rock, hasn't ever really given me trouble. I will continue to use it until it absolutely dies. I love this thing. So Virtue Spire 3, Virtue loaders in general, um, do tend to have my heart. I'm going to hold off on showing you this because you don't get to see that yet. Next up, pants that I wear. I. I've been under-sponsored for a bit because since I st still work with OSU, I get to be on their sponsorships. So this is under paintball, <clears throat> owned and run by one Chris Rangel. He is a former Marine. The company is, uh, I believe, largely, mostly, if not entirely, a veteran-owned and operated company. So uh, they, they do a lot of outreach. They run the veteran militia team as well, which my cousin plays for. It's a super good cause. He just likes to kind of keep... He, 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 Chris makes sure that all of his you know brothers in uniform have a community within the paintball community because they have a very shared experience that a lot of us don't have and it's awesome. So, huge shout out to Under. They've done nothing but take care of us. These joggers guys really hold up. They're very light. That's, I have gotten away from the super heavy, big space pants, paintball pants thing. I know a lot of guys want that to come back. For some reason, I think that's out. I don't want that to come back. I really prefer the more slim look of joggers, but these, even are, these aren't even really that skinny or tapered. They're a good mix of like, it's still a straight leg pant with plenty of room in it but a lot of flexibility. There is still a good amount of padding in the knee, a lot of toughness in these. It took me a year and a half, two years to rip my first pair. This is only my second pair. I haven't really had to go through these too much. It has everything you need as well. Draw strain to keep it tight. 
It's got good pockets on either side with light mesh inside as well. <clears throat> and then it has your um, your squeegee pockets on both sides. You can carry up to two squeegees with these things. I think it also, also has belt loops as well. For those of you guys that are super skinny and need some help keeping your pants up. What's up, boss? What's up? Doing a gear bag video. Oh, okay. Need something? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I've been paid a visit. All right, go ahead, I'm dog. talking about my underpants, boss. And cut three. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, knee pads. Uh, these are going to die really soon. <laughs> these are the Empire Neo Skin, that's, I think is what they were. That's depressing that you still use those. D they, you know what the thing is, though? These don't move. These have stayed, like, every, if I'm crawling, diving all day, they don't slide down, they don't ride anything, and they're super light. Got but three it's enough padding. on them. Yeah, at, by this point, yeah, probably, knowing, knowing my track record, but... These are st ridiculously... Do they even still make these anymore? No. <laughs> these are going to be the last pair that I ever have of these because I'm not going to be able to get them again. But for I like just, five years. Yeah. yeah it's, I, was, I haven't seen anything for them in a minute. I, we might have had an old pair sitting on... We had like a full leg, like the like the, um, <laughs> the slide pants and the knee pads together. Mm. I almost picked them up because I was like, I'll never be able to get them again, but obviously I didn't. But no, these I've liked them a lot because they're super lightweight. They really kind of stick to me. I think for my next move, I've been checking out the HydroFit knee pads. Mm. Those do seem pretty sweet, but if, out of any of the ones that we have here, what would be the most similar to this? Probably Infamous. The Infamous, yeah. Yeah. They've been killing. Or just get the carbon bottoms. bottoms. I could get the carbon. Get the bottoms. carbon bottoms. I could get the carbon bottoms. I because which do you wear the most recent ones that are like shorter at the leg, or do you wear the version? From I wear before? the SC Pro bottoms. Okay. Which are the longer ones. That's it. Okay. But they're yep. super light, right? Yeah. So I mean. Yeah, and they don't scrunch to the back of the leg, which is what drives me nuts. <laughs> That was I used to wear the old like Planet Eclipse ones like before they really started like making them more for production and then yeah. I'm glad they've come a long way. But <clears throat> anyway, next up in terms of items, let's go with my elbow pads since we're talking about pads. Exalt T3s, big fan of these. I don't like the ones that are kind of like super disjointed and like I don't really care for the little hand pad that the other ones have. I can't remember what name the other ones are, but I just like that it's one big solid pad, relatively thick. Uh, size for me, I'm 5'8", about 215, and I wear a, this is the medium large, so it fits me just fine. After all day, you will end up with a mark up here, but I mean, that's, I don't think you're going to go away from that with any elbow pad, really. <clears throat> anyway, next, uh, barrel sock you have to have because you literally can't come out of the pit without one. This is a, uh, you call it borrowed one from <laughs> Dimension Paintball. I... I, I like the joke that rental and you put it on, you know, like your whatever gun you're using that it's clearly not a rental. But I've had people actually ask me before, wait, is that a rental? Where'd you get that? God. Should just rent them to, to them for the day for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's I can make some profit. Have, buy me a case of paint. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, tank this is going to be very important. So same brand Ninja Bottle as what Joel uses, but mine is the 77 SL2, whereas Joel uses the 90 because he's a lot longer than me and it actually fits him pretty well. Um, I have all my Buckeyes online that I earned when I was playing for Ohio State and the regulator Ninja Pro V2. I, I just, I've always had it on there, but now that I've been exposed to other ones from working here, I still just, I find them very simple and I, I find them easy for me to like work on if I ever need to or need to change something, change the pressure. I think it's easy. I know how it works. I haven't literally ever had issues with this tank or this rig. I've had no leaks, no nothing, no problems and personal preference on the back a little bit of hockey tape for a grip on your shoulder. Um, the tank backers are also really good. I've seen Keegan used to do this combo where he'd have some tape and then put like a, a tank cover on it and then he would even use more tape to tape it on there so it wouldn't go anywhere. So that's something you can do, it's an option that you have. But put this right up front for you guys to see. Gotta have a hat, because those of us that are thinning a little bit in the back need to have something to put on our heads for when we're- I'm thinning too, I, I just can't find mine. <laughs> oh, you lost yours? Yeah. You, had, you had the camel one, right? I don't know. I've had quite a few. I keep losing them. <laughs> Maybe I'll just find them all one day and give them back to you. But no, this is the Gangstar hat. Uh, I picked this up at an NXL event a couple years ago. <clears throat> if I'm wearing this, I'm probably coaching. This is like my coaching day hat. Or if we're just Here's doing the real question. Day. Should we get some Punisher's paintball? Yes. Dude, yeah, Punisher's bucket paintball bucket hats? Yes! Because that's the question. Yeah, that's the thing Comments. I keep saying. If you would buy a Punisher's paintball bucket hat like this, please tell us, because I yes. would like that to go through. Yes. <laughs> Jason's saying yes in the background. 100 yes, dude. Uh, okay, so there's some soft stuff. Let's go on to jerseys. So once again, still under, uh, still sponsored by them. Their jerseys, honestly, are super nice. Like They're really lightweight, like the whole thing. You can almost see through the whole thing, but I haven't had issues of this ripping, really. Um, it, it takes a, a lot of abuse to start to... Like Peter, uh, one of our old Punisher's guys, uh, when he played for me at Ohio State... We used under, he was our front snake player for multiple years in a row. 
it took a solid two years of him using that jersey and diving every single point to start to tear up one of the arms. So very durable. Once again, under super good company. Really nice to work with Chris Rangel and the boys, but their designs also pop. Like they come out really nice. Colors are really good. They pop real hard. I know <clears throat> Joel's probably sad that I'm not wearing one of our carbon jerseys yet this year, but oh, I'll pick good. one up eventually. I like Chris. <clears throat> I do too. So here's something. Always got to have a backup loader. I'm a huge fan of that. So like I said, I have my Spire 3 as my main loader, but my backup loader is the same as Joel's, yeah. which is the Spire IR2. I love this thing. I like don't have issues with it literally ever. Again, Crown SF speed feed. It's just been my go-to the whole time that I've been using all these Spire loaders. I just, my thing with Spire, I know that they don't feed quite as quickly as a lot of the die loaders out there, but they're just consistent. I don't like have to worry about them not feeding or not liking paint or something like that. So I, for me, Spire IR2, super solid backup loader. I've had it for, I guess, a year or so now because I just updated it last year sometime. Um, more micros, more micros because those are stupid important. I also have in here a super old 77 that I probably shouldn't have, but I put it. <laughs> this is for like just in case. This is also, I left all this stuff in here to show you guys how much this bag can hold. Because a lot of people I think have this idea that the GX2 just holds infinitely more than the high roller. I think they hold about the same. I just like the organization of the high roller. There's so many places to put stuff. It keeps it really nicely organized. So same Pro V2 regulator, like the same setup. It's just not an SL2 tank as my other bottle. And I'm gonna put this on the chair because it's running out of room. So you guys probably want to see what I'm shooting, but I'm gonna make you wait. Even though he's already teased it like five times. Yeah, well, they can't see. It's fine. <laughs> Everybody knows what you shoot. <laughs> HK Saber <laughs> for my <coughs> squeegee choice. Uh, I'm, the barrel maids are cool. I like that you can pull the shell out and pull out all the paint, but I really just like to shove it in the barrel, pull it out, and just like wipe it off under my arm and forget about it. I'm just really like, you know, yeah, <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh god, caught it. <laughs> Gross. Pull through squeegee for when you're off the field and you have a bunch of crap in your barrel, but wow. don't bring it up. one of those since like 2004. Dude, I have like two of the, I think I'm pretty sure I have, yeah, dude, I literally, I'm doubled up. I <laughs> have multiples. You put it around your neck like the OGs used to. Honestly, my first tournament, this is what I did. I actually like thought that this was okay. Yeah. It's <laughs> not okay? Uh, it, it was I'm time to make it popular again. I'm sorry, we're it. This is, this is going to be, I'm going to die on this hill <laughs> for the rest of the season. So I do have two markers in my bag as well. You guys already know they're both shockers, but um, I actually keep my shocker cases themselves at home. I'm not gonna lie, for the most part, I don't put my amp in the bag. I just kind of leave it set up and just drag it around with me. Hence why I pointed out how nice the feature is of this thing so you can just hang it on the bag. But for my XLS, I actually choose to keep it in an exalt case. This has a lot of really nice pockets that zip shut for me. It does have space to hold extra barrel inserts and there's a even there's a newer updated version of this that we have as well it's, it's even it's like tougher on the outside as well if you're gonna play with it at least go to the bathroom have some privacy damn i'm not doing anything <laughs> he'll sit there playing with himself i'm distracting doug in the background <laughs> he's really pinging my adhd right now this is bad just to show you guys this is the old xls the ohio state version i got the pewter uh you'll notice that the frame is actually black because i bent the ever loving shit out of the original frame i still have it but it was actually a Punisher's tryouts going into 2021. It took like a little slide, it was really wet. Gun's and I, fault like, or your fault? Oh, it was my fault, 100%. 100, I right. just, I got way too crunched up and I, it was like the barrel dug into the ground, but I squeezed it super hard and literally bent it in the shape of my hand. So I guess I'm just too strong. I kinda like black frame. Looks kinda sharp. Black on gray is kinda nice. But now it has no serial number, so it's a ghost gun. <laughs> anyway, no, for real. This has a ton of pockets on all sides. I have all like batteries and wrenches and stuff back here and like the lube. So So why do you like that better than the shocker case? For one, because uh, it is smaller. It is significantly smaller. And for, for two, I actually was, I want to preserve the shocker case itself and just like keep it kind of nice. Mm. Um, but it the honestly probably the big thing is that there's pockets that zip, so when I'm opening this thing trying to pull stuff out because with the shocker cases it does hold it in with that kind of mesh webbing but that the lube falls out super easily mm -hmm. and you can't yeah, hold sure. as many barrel inserts as you can with the exhaust gotcha. case that's my biggest thing is probably the barrel insert capability of holding it plus hmm. it keeps everything in a nice like soft kind that's of microfiber idea, thing i have some good ideas every now and again joel also keep some hydration in your bag guys so and then my main shooter here for a year and a half uh just about <laughs> Uh, my main shooter is my Shocker amp. I have been in love with this thing since I got it. It like, I don't know, it's just super soft on paint. And for me, don't have the biggest hands. I do prefer a smaller gun ergonomically. Fits me really well, and I feel like I can get in some tight spaces with it. So I have absolutely no complaints with this thing. Now for the fun extra items that Joel and I are going to agree on, because he did it at the end of his video as well. These items do always live in my bag. Always have sunscreen, 
Big time. And honestly, when I'm playing, it's only for the back of my neck and for my balding, stupid head. I literally, I, you will see me put it in my hair like shampoo because I don't want to get burnt. So, uber important. For those of us that chafe and have some rubbing, you want some gold bond. <laughs> I literally have two of these in my bag because your boy gets kind of gross. Good to know I'm not the only one. No, oh, dude, no, when you pulled that out, I was cracking up. I was like, yeah, that's me. Now, this last one, Joel does not have in his, ba have in his bag. And I guarantee, because I learned this when I went to a tournament with Chad and Michaela, who you guys remember from the channel here. They took me down to an event at Black Ops Paintball in, like, I think it was North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I had to go use the men's room. I had to go take a number two. I sit down, and before I started doing my business, I see there's no toilet paper. There's none whatsoever. So luckily, I was able to get out, go ask somebody for something. But I thought about it. I was like, yo, if I ever go to an event that's so backwoods that there's just, like, nothing, there's no toilet paper whatsoever, I don't want to be caught with my literal pants down. So I keep a roll of toilet paper in my <laughs> bag. <laughs> I have actually had to I have actually had to use this at level up some days because like they just it gets busy they don't have time to replace the toilet paper it's like don't worry about it I got my own I so I, see I, you need something you, you got to deal with it somehow but anyway guys so that's my gear bag video <clears throat> thank you for coming and hanging out today thank you for interrupting the shit out of me Joel always love the, uh, uh, the, the ADHD breaks but. If you guys like this, please like, make sure you comment. Let us know if you want to see anyone else's gear bags from the team. Maybe we'll do like a, as Simon goes, kind of build his gear bag. We'll show you what he, what he, or maybe we'll do a, what would Simon build for his ideal gear bag? Mm -hmm. That I might can, be actually kind of you fun. You can use my wife and do what's in a girl's gear bag. That's actually not a bad idea, Jason. That's actually really, you, does she have it with her? Unfortunately, we did not bring her gear bag. Next time you come, you bring that and we'll do that. Time, yeah. So there you go. We'll do, we'll do a women's gear bag video. There's probably maybe some interesting little items in there. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, use the link in the description to get any of the things that you see either here or this gear bag or just any of your paintball gear in general from Punishers. I will catch you in the next one.